is your main area of concern. Can you tell me how it feels when I touch it? It doesn't hurt too much, but when you touch the center, it I kind of get this right pain. There? Yeah, there. Yeah. And how long have you had this for? Um, I think about a year. A year, wow. Okay, right. So I'm going to talk you through what we're going to do okay. for you today. So we're going to start off with the antibacterial just to cleanse the area. And then I'm going to use a scalpel technique just to dry the dead skin. And if there is a central part of the corn which is embedded, I'll be removing that for you too. Is that okay with you? Great. Perfect. So how did you end up getting this corn? Well, I travel quite a lot um, and I have to wear, you know, all sorts of different shoes. How does that feel? Is that okay? Yeah, can't feel anything. Amazing. Um, and I think it was probably from wearing shoes that were too thin for my foot. Okay. Um, and I found that they would rub quite a lot. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. And so you've been traveling. Where have you been traveling? All over. Um, you know, I've lived here for about three years or so. Okay. Um, my parents moved over here. Um, I'm originally from the States, um, but I travel all over quite a lot in Asia. Um, I've been over to Australia quite a bit. I was going to say, you have a really nice accent because I can't pinpoint where it's from. No, no one can ever guess where my accent is from. It's kind of a weird mix of British and American. <laughs> well, to be honest, people say that about my accent too, so I can totally relate. No, you've got a great <laughs> accent. You think? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks. I like to call my accent the Atlantic mud. Yeah, <laughs> the what? The Atlantic mud? <laughs> the Atlantic mud. Wow. <laughs> God, I don't know what I'll call mine. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you've got quite a lot. You've got like the Australian coming in. You've got a bit of a Aust well, I think an Asian trying too. I can hear like little bits. Yeah, I've got a lot going on. <laughs> That's great. How's that feeling so far? Yes, it was great. So Thanks, what, Phil. So what do you do then? Like, if you're traveling so much? Uh, so I work in fine arts. Oh, okay. Um, so looking at different artwork and um, some kinds instruments and things. Mm -hmm. um, so it you know involves a lot of traveling because some of our clients will have work uh, all over the world, we yep. got to take it and bring it back and you know, evaluate it and all of that. Oh wow. I can only imagine what some of this art costs. Yeah, it's it's incredible. What's the most expensive piece that you've... Uh... If I told you, I would have to kill you. Wow, okay, I, I like living, so <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm probably going to let you keep that one to yourself. But what if I guessed it? Then yeah. You wouldn't tell me, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a million. Not even close. No, higher? Much higher. Oof, okay, right. So I'm gonna jump to seven though. Mm, still not close. No way? Okay, right. Um wow. Fourteen? Mm, a little higher. Okay, so you can see that I'm kind of just going with the seven times table. Twenty <laughs> <laughs> one? Um, yeah, let's let's say twenty one is a safe. I would be so scared to hold or take anything that was uh, worth that much. I'd probably sneeze on that or do something wrong, like throwing my luck. <laughs> it's quite scary. We have to wear gloves. Oh, of course. You don't want to get fingerprints all over it and things. No, definitely. Do you have security with you when you go to do things like this? Sometimes. If we take um, a really you know, special piece and we're uh, transporting it from you know, the airport to where it's going, then we sometimes have security, which is quite nice. It makes you feel important. Right? <laughs> you feel like a celebrity in your own right. Yeah, exactly. Um, and when you have to go send these pieces to different countries, are there any countries that take, like, buy more perhaps? Or is it all sort of all over worldwide? It doesn't really matter. It's kind of worldwide. I mean, we usually go to these countries to meet, you know, the client that lives there. Okay. Um, we often find, you know, it's a lot of, you know, the Asian market's becoming quite popular right now. Um, a lot of people wanting to buy art um, and instruments and things, so yeah, it's really popular over there, so that's kind of where it's all happening right now. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, because I'm not obviously in that field, it's quite nice learning about these things. How's that feeling so far for you? Yeah, I can't feel anything, it feels great. Yeah? And tell me, what did you do so far to sort of help yourself since you've had it for a year? Did you do anything at home? Um, I tried soaking it in warm water with salt. Okay, great. Um, which kind of helped. I think the problem was is that I did kept keep on wearing the shoes. Uh, and yep. I probably should have that thrown them done it. away. So are you gonna throw them away? I am now because okay. I like that answer. It is quite painful. <laughs> um, but I wasn't really sure what it was at first. Um, so I had to kind of Google it, you know, like strange thing on toe. Okay, strange thing on toe. And then I found that it was a corn and then I went on YouTube and I found your video. 
Okay. I noticed that there was another video on YouTube where a guy had it on the same toe. Right, yeah. And so that's when I thought, okay, I need to see this lady. Yeah. <laughs> and well. yeah, I contacted you and here I am. And this is great. Well, welcome. And that's quite funny because that was our first video that we ever did. So. And really, it was right. a popular one. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people watched it and um, I loved reading all the comments that came with it. So it's quite interesting because it's like in the same sort of location. It's like yours is not as deep as his was. Okay. So yours was a lot of um, callus, which is hard skin, that was sitting all over. And it's the beginning of a corn, so you had a little bit that was embedded, but not to the same degree. So what you may have seen in the other video is there was a center part that was removed as such. But in yours, especially this area, this is where it could have started to turn into a deeper corn. But because we've caught it just right now, you're actually quite good, so I've got rid of it. So if I'm just going to touch it and see how that feels for you. Give me one sec. I'm just going to put some more hands right here. Just cleanse. Right. i got to touch that there. How does that feel now? Feels great. Can't feel anything. No pain, right? Nothing is original. But if I go to show it to you, do you see how the center part there, you can see that circle as yeah. where it was starting to turn into a corn? So now that sort of area is quite raw still from... The pressure that it's had from the hard skin. So very rightly, what you said before about the salt water soaks that you're doing, please do keep doing that. And I want you to moisturize in this area to help the skin sort of get back and get the um, sort of the moisture that it needs so the skin to renew. Okay. The shoes that you're wearing before need to be absolutely scrapped. Yeah, they're going in the trash. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna just check one more time just to make sure there's nothing else because I could just feel a little bit of a ridge here, so I want to get rid of that. But other than that, you should be good. And what I'd probably suggest is wearing something on the shoe just to protect the toe, okay? There's a few little um, ideas that we can work with. So depending on what type of shoes you wear, we can go with that. Does that sound fair? Great. So give me two seconds. Let me just check this last bit again. The joys of having OCD. <laughs> when I feel something, I just got to fix it, you know? <laughs> and are you going back to work after this? I am. Okay. Amazing. So good. Sadly. Oh, bless you. Is that okay? Yeah, it's great. Right. There's no more sitting in this area anywhere that you should be. Amazing. Perfect. You've cured my toe. I've tried to. <laughs> Teamwork. There you go. Perfect.